How is dividing by a fraction related to multiplication? Think about this question during the lesson. If a bottle of liquid plant food contains three cups, how many plants will you be able to feed? Explain why your answer makes sense. What do you know and what do you need to find? You know that each bottle holds three cups of plant food and each plant takes one-eighth cup. You need to find how many plants can be fed from a bottle of plant food. So, you need to find how many eighths are in three cups. Three divided by one-eighth equals... Why can you use three divided by one-eighth to solve this problem? You have three cups to divide into equal parts with one-eighth cup in each part. How many one-eighths are in three? Use a model and multiplication to solve. How does the model represent the problem? The model shows three holes, each divided into eighths. Since there are eight eighths in each hole, there are 3 times 8 equals 24 eighths in 3 holes. So, 3 divided by 1 eighth equals 24. The plant food can feed 24 plants. Does the answer make sense? Do 24 eighths equal 3? Use multiplication to check. 24 times 1 eighth equals 24 eighths equals 3. Yes, 24 eighths equals 3, so the answer makes sense. Why can you use 24 times 1 eighth equals 3 to check? According to the relationship between multiplication and division, 3 divided by 1 eighth equals 24 if and only if 24 times 1 eighth equals 3. In other words, the division equation 3 divided by 1 eighth equals 24 is true because the multiplication equation 24 times 1 eighth equals 3 is true. The inverse relationship between multiplication and division applies to fraction computation too. Now you know how dividing by a fraction is related to multiplication.